Luka Doncic has done some insane things this season. He led the league in scoring but had a career high in assists per game. Let's take a look at his best passes this season and how he made the Mavs around him better. One of the Mavs' big points of emphasis this season is playing faster. Dallas has been one of the bottom three slowest-paced teams each of the last two seasons, but they decided to change that this year. And they've got George back, and it's Kyrie with the alley finish from Luka. Ma, 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 ma. I tell you what. Dallas jumped up to seventh in the league in pace this season, and this is how Luka was able to contribute to that and jumpstart the Mavs in transition. Oh, nice pass. And Josh Green running the floor. They're not taking that finish back. Josh Green from QB1, Luka Doncic. He always has his head up now looking down the court and consistently hits teammates streaking down the sidelines or waiting in the paint. Nice push this time. Luka, perfect pass up to Green. If you get behind the defense, Luka will find you. Got the ball, three and a half to go, Portland Hardaway. Got the lead pass up. In stride. Luka Doncic looking like Dak Prescott here. You mentioning all the names, there's a trip there. Luka also started to trust his centers and get them the ball down the court when they had an advantage. He did a great job, what a pass. Uh, that's the rim running that Derek Lively's been giving him. This play was during Daniel Gafford's first game with the Mavs, and Luka was already experimenting with chucking the ball down to him in transition and letting him win a one-on-one -on -one matchup with a defender. And it wouldn't be the last time he tried that with one of the bigs. Miss three, long pass, leak out, Lively, another ferocious finish. What is going on with these Dallas big men tonight? And sometimes Luka can just find the exact right angle to get you the ball in the open court. There's the oh, pace. Look at that. Green running. Luka finds him for the jam. Here's a steal by Luka. Ninth in the league in steals. Great lead bounce pass. And Jones up ahead to score. Him to Derrick Jones Jr. Derrick Lively II was considered to be a risky pick for the Mavs in the 2023 NBA draft, but Lively proved to be better than expected and started almost right away. Let's see how Dallas cashes in this time down the floor. Give and go, and it's Lively cramming one home off the Luka Lob. This is not last year's half-court team. They are playing at a much faster pace as Luka gets his... D-Live has brought a lot to the Mavs, including a big lob threat that Luka has fully taken advantage of in the pick and roll. Doncic, hold on for Lively. What a feed by Luka. What a screen by Lively. It's not... That play's not made unless you set a solid screen on Doncic's man. The Mavs trade for Daniel Gafford brought another huge rim-rolling threat to the Mavs, and some for Luka to find creative ways to get him the ball around the rim. And here's Gafford! Welcome to Dallas, big fella! That's what he does! That dog is gonna eat a lot! <laughs> Luka is one of the best entry passers in the league. He can find a big man rolling to the rim and drop a pass right where they need it. Yes, they are. And here is Luka! Finding those stops and converting on the other end and surged in front. And of course, Luca will find high flyers for lobs too and can hit them from almost anywhere. The opportunity to get uh -oh. another one. PJ Washington, uh -oh. another welcome to Dallas moment. Doncic, the lob and the flush. Let's take it up a level. Luca is one of the best no look passers in the NBA. He consistently freezes defenses by looking anywhere but his intended target, like this pass to Kyrie for three. Against Kenridge Williams, he just went into the game. Luca driving, yes. looks off the defense, set, wins and repeat. 19 in a row. The corners are always an option for Luca, no matter where he is on the court and no matter who is between him and his teammate. How does he even see Derek Jones Jr. here? or Josh Green on this one. In two different stints. Here is Luca. Oh, what a pass. He was looking up top. The pass went to the corner, and it's Trano, Josh Green, on the three-pointer. He's a magician who's willing to repeat his tricks sometimes. Does this pass look familiar? And a fabulous pass, and it's rinse and repeat. Timeout, Cleveland with 125 left in the first quarter. Another dash. 
dazzling assist by Luka Doncic. Luka attracts so much attention on drives and post-ups that defenders swarm him and help off of shooters everywhere. So Luka just has to bide his time and wait for each defender to make a choice. On this play, Paolo Bancaro tries to go for the block and leaves Grant Williams open while Anthony Black is staying near Tim Hardaway Jr. and Joe Ingles is spying in the way of Josh Green. Luca flips it back. What? Derek Jones Jr. nails the three, and the man who can see all the spots on the floor with the pass. And on this play, Luca holds Kyle Anderson on his hip and forces Rudy Gobert to help on him and stumble back, leaving Lively open for the dunk. I think it's the same, especially with young players. Uh, great pass, wide open. The Mavericks set up their offense so Luka always knows where players are going to be, so when the defense collapses he can just pass to a spot on the floor, like the top of the key here. It's inside, Alters out to Kleba, some oohs from the crowd, as Kleba finally a three-pointer goes down. <laughs> LeBron, loving the pass, he's got to acknowledge it, it's that good. Luca doing his thing. Then in transition, this time Luca spins and freezes the defense with this no look pass to Hardaway Jr. He does this a lot to defenses when they fall asleep. That is a nice look away pass, and it's Jones on target from the corner. Luca knows exactly where Lively is going off this pick and roll, so he doesn't even need to look for a few steps. Then again against Memphis, four Grizzlies are swarming him and he just needs to make his pick of open teammates. Here's Kleba catching inside. He's going to turn down a shot inside. Jones to Luka, slices through the defense, wrap around, nicely done. And in what should have been one of the biggest plays of their season, Luka used a no-look pass to freeze the defense and give P.J. Washington a go-ahead layup. Deflection, and Luka comes away with it. Six seconds, five seconds, underneath, Washington, 2.6 to go. They're out of timeouts. Dallas leads by one. The next level above a no-look pass is a look-off pass where the offensive player deliberately makes the defense go one way in order to send the pass to someone else. During some of Luka's no-look passes, he manipulates the defense by moving one or several players in the wrong direction with his eyes or a ball fake, and some of these can be nasty. Nice pass. Inside, tower of power, Derek Lively from Luka. Luka did a tremendous job of looking off everybody that was trying to play defense that time. Watch number four. Chimezi met two get completely faked out on this pass and panic. Luka sent him to the corner and then passed to Derek Jones Jr. on the wing. On this play, Josh Giddy picks up Lively on the roll, but Luca looks him off for just a split second in order to complete the pass for a lively finish. Under nine minutes left in the game. Luca guarded by Edwards. And the paint looks off the defense. And a big time finish. The Celtics almost had a fast break after Derek White deflects this pass to Luca, but Luca recovers and watch how he looks off Jason Tatum under the rim so he leaves Maxi wide open. Alfred Shengun gets stuck in a dead zone when Luca looks him off his play so Exum can get a backdoor cut for an easy one. And D'Angelo Russell looks both ways on this pass before realizing he got fooled and pointing after Lively got a dunk. Luca uses a jump pass on these types of plays a lot because it makes the defense freeze while he's in midair, while his teammates know to keep moving and Luca will hit you. And on this massive play in the Mavs' comeback win against the Rockets, Luca looks off Jabari Smith under the rim and Reggie Bullock bites on Luca's fake with his eyes before he gets the pass to Dante Exum, who forces overtime. All right, now are you ready for the most insane passes Luca's made this season? Let's get crazy. Here are Luca's wildest passes, and they get better each time. 10 
J.P. Bickerstaff is hot about it. Here is a laser right. pass through traffic. Excellent pass. And then, of course, the best thing about it is when the shot is on target. Luka drops this one off right between Wagner's legs under the rim to Grant Williams, leaving both Wagner brothers wondering what just happened. He, he is so much fun to watch, Mike. Inside and Lively throws it down. It's a lot of those from Dante. Luca is almost at half court and throws this hook pass to a cutting Dante Exum in the lane by himself. Marketing has all five points for the Jazz so far in the second quarter. Luca goes away from the pass. And then through traffic finds Gafford. And another tower of power slammed up by Gafford. Did you see that seal? He sealed that defense where you couldn't even see him. This one wasn't an assist, but how many players would you trust to throw this pass? And Luca. Cross court found green. Great catch. Then it's Hardaway. And then here's another pass. What do you call it? A hockey assist? It is. That's exactly right, Hart. That's the hockey assist. On this play in overtime, Luca stumbles and fumbles the ball all the way to the baseline and somehow recovers to throw a no look dart to the corner. What a show. Great pass by Luca. This play actually is an assist as Luca saves the ball from going out of bounds and gets it back to PJ Washington. Washington's three comes up short. Good save though by Doncic to Washington. Floater goes over Bamba. And here Luca threads the needle through LeBron's legs from all the way across the paint to find Green in the corner. Unreal! Yeah, Luca threw that pass right between Bron's legs. The old nutmeg. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Against the Lakers again, Luca somehow finds Exum with this left-handed wraparound pass that goes right by Rui. What? What? Exum three. Go! What? what a pass. How did he get that through all those defenders in hands and arms? Look at this pass here. I mean, wow. <laughs> Luca doesn't even have to be standing up to make incredible passes like this one where he almost turns it over, but turns it into an amazing play. Points a game, which is 14. Luca on the floor, dug out a loose ball. He finds Exum. What? What? Luca on the floor, a pass from his knees, nailing a three, Exum. Yeah. Dick wow. loses the ball and able to see Dante Exum from his knees, almost at half court, gets it over the top of the defender, gets him a wide open look. Now, there's not many people that can make this pass. There aren't many people that can make the passes that Luca makes, but for this last one, Luca may be the only person who could do it in the league today. Pow, open Luka Doncic with a little spice. That's incredible. That is an incredible behind-the-back pass. That's just incredible. That's off a of blitz. The guy got blitzed and threw a behind-the-back pass right on target I to mean, Dwight Powell.